Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 8, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down near the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we're up 0.28% at this current stage. US dollar index has been falling today and will most likely continue to fall when looking at its, uh, well, basically its trend at this current stage. It basically hit uh, resistant and then fell and it is expected to fall even further. So we could expect this to continue rising as the US dollar continues to depreciate. So we have found massive support around the 20 exponential area. If you look at technical indicators, they are still very bearish, but they are turning around. So MACD is bearish, RSI is bullish, and CCI is flat. Stochastic has just crossed the signal line, is becoming bullish. And we are right here in the middle of the in the bullish band, middle of the bullish band, and the top of the bullish band. There's a lot of room to the upside. Also here in the RSI, there's also plenty of room to the upside. If you manage to break above this resistance level, then we are going significantly higher. This has been an area of interest for well, for a very long time, you can see back in 2018, we can also see here in 2021, we have tested this um, at uh, 1424. And if we manage to break above that, then this is going to go significantly higher. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. And as you can see, we have been falling here. We're trading at uh, minus zero point, or we're down 0.30%. Uh, Technical indicators are all pointing to um, lower momentum is uh, to the downside. MACD has just crossed the signal line, indicating bearishness. The RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bearish as well. There's a lot of room to the downside here in the bullish band. We could drop roughly 0.69 or 70% before we find um, resist, you know, support down here at the 100 moving average. And that's also the previous lows here. So if we break the 50, and this could drop to the 50 moving average. To the upside, 110 should offer massive resistant so euro us dollar we can see that we are up uh, plus um, 0 0.22 percent we can see that the technical indicators they are still bearish but they are turning around so we found support just above the 20 um the 40 exponential moving average and now we're trading above the 20 exponential so if you manage to take out 12 25 then we could go to 12 35 and that is basically the previous highs here at the beginning of january 2001 so there is quite a lot of resistance here, but if we manage to take out both of these resistance levels, then we are most likely going to go significantly higher. There's a lot of support underneath. So long term, we are in an uptrend. So let's look at the Aussie US dollar, and you can see that we have bounced quite nicely from the fall of last week, where we fell roughly 1.3%. This was back in, this was back on the, um, on Wednesday last week, and then we technically rallied, and now we're heading back towards 0.78. We are basically just hanging around in the same area. Of course, this was a massive drop, but we recovered really nicely, and that is a fair indication that there is a lot of buying occurring when this basically drops, and expectations is that this is going to, um, well, going to rally. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that MACD has just crossed the signal line, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is becoming bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. There is quite a lot of room to the top of the bullish band, roughly 0.58% to the upside, and that's basically at 0.7815. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We're just hanging around here at the 20 exponential. If we don't manage to break above the 20 exponential, we could see this drop significantly to the downside. There's not a lot of movement. We're just down 0.06%. Technical indicators, they are fairly, well, fairly all over the place. MACD is bullish, still in negative territory. RSI is, uh, is flat. CCI is uh, basically flat at this point. As the CASIC is turning around, becoming, it's still bullish, but it's tur turning around here, becoming bearish. If you look at the bullish band, we're just above the middle of the bullish band, and uh, we'll most likely find massive resistance up here at 12.12, and to the downside, we have roughly 12.02. So until we basically break below this resistance line here, the uh, support line here, or break towards the uh, 50 moving average, yes, there is nothing really to it. This is just a waiting game, to be fair and honest. 
So, hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support your channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.